There is a vast, ancient river of crystals that flows through our planet, our star system, and our lives. Crystallized cosmic dust floats through space and time. It forms into stars, planets, rocks, buildings, oceans, animals, roses, and you. Crystal minerals and crystallized proteins spin and grow in the far reaches of the galaxies, in the oceans of the Earth, and in DNA, our genetic material, a tapestry of the universal body made into rock and flesh. The elemental crystal particles are held together by the infinite power of the rainbow energy of creation. This program will follow the eternal flow of quartz crystals as they rise from the ancient caves of the earth to our homes and our collections. We will see how these quartz crystals affect our bodies, our spirits, and our civilizations. The universal ocean of space contains gigantic flows of swirling energy and crystal particles which form, over eons, into heavenly bodies. These cosmic rivers of particles and rays are mirrored in the flow of elements, energy, and water inside our planet, the oceans, and our bodies. As earth energy melts rocks and purifies them, crystals are formed. Millions of crystals, billions of crystals, uncounted crystals form into the rocks of the earth. Massive crystals, Micro crystals, hidden crystals, liquid crystals, solid crystals, and above all, quartz crystals. Quartz crystal in its many forms holds all the rocks of the earth together. Underneath the crystalline rocks in the crust of the earth, great seas of magma, melted crystals, pulse with mineral energy. Deeper yet, an enormous solid sphere forms the center of our planet. Earth's crystal core rings with the power of huge magnetic pulses flowing to crystal veins and arteries in the planetary crust. The Earth pulses and shivers like a living body in the midst of a great dream. As above, so below. All the elements of the earth exist within our own bodies. All the energies of the planet are reflected in us. The flows of inner electricity and magnetism bring life to the planets, to you and to your pets, the animals, 
plants and precious stones which bring you so much pleasure. In an energetic universe, everything is alive. Can we communicate better with these life forms through the inherent power of the quartz crystal? Yes. Scientific research in the past 100 years has shown us how electronic crystal components can expand our planetary and social awareness by allowing faster communications. There might be no communications network, no information superhighway, without the crystal knowledge and crystalline materials discovered in recent times. Can we also accelerate our communications with our spiritual selves, our souls, and the universal being? by using naturally tuned quartz crystals? Yes. Powerful techniques from the dawn of history are now emerging for using the perfectly tuned natural crystals for hundreds of purposes, including personal growth. The crystals speak for themselves through visual images, and through energy sensations. We want to help and empower you to hear and understand the lovely languages of light and density, of energy and matter, of rainbows and rocks. Quartz is formed when crystal solutions slowly deposit onto the walls of caves deep in the earth. In Arkansas, the crystals were originally more than a mile underground. Eons of erosion lowered the mountains to their ancient crystalline hearts. Nowadays, you can find crystals in a 100-mile area around hot springs Jesseville, and Mount Ida, Arkansas. Let's go find some clear crystal treasures. Several mine owners have public spaces called fee digging areas. For a five to ten dollar fee, you can go into the mine for a whole day. You keep all the crystals you dig. You can even camp out at the mine or stay in a nearby motel. Drive up to the mine's parking lot and get ready for fun. The main tool you will need is a large, sturdy screwdriver. With this little pry bar, just start turning over rocks. Large pry bars work well too. The more rocks you move, the more crystals you find. What will you find in an Arkansas crystal mine? Most of the crystals found in the region are clear quartz or white quartz, single points or cluster groups. The small groups are thumbnail sized. The regular groups weigh up to a pound or more. The largest groups may weigh five tons. The mine owners make it fairly easy to dig the crystals. A mine might be a few acres wide or as large as 50 acres. You can dig with other people or find a private spot all your own. Crystals grow in layers or veins in the ground. Tons of rock lie on top of the crystal deposits. Bulldozers and heavy machinery remove this overburdened rock.
when a vein of massive white crystal is exposed, all the machinery is removed. Miners always pull out the clear crystals one by one using simple hand tools. When you dig crystals, carefully separate the neighboring rocks to avoid chipping the crystals. If you want to prospect for crystals in other places, be sure you have permission from the property owner. Look for areas that have a lot of white boulders lying around. This is pure quartz. Crystals may be perfectly clean when they are found in little caves. Other times, beautifully colored layers of manganese, aluminum, hematite, fluorite, pyrite, copper, or calcite may cover all or part of the stone. At the mine, you can often rinse crystals in water to take off loose dirt and clay. Remove clay in the crevices with a sharp pointed tool like a twig, pen knife, or safety pin. At home, you can use a special hardware product called wood bleach to remove rust and clay. The wood bleach is a chemical called oxalic acid. Soak the crystals in the oxalic solution for a couple of days. Then rinse with cool water to see an amazing transformation. Your crystal will sparkle forever. You can dig quartz crystals in many American states. Your own state has its own distinctively shaped and colored crystals. Rock shops have books showing where to dig crystals and other types of stones and gems. Of course, it's easier to buy crystals than to dig your own. Yet there is an immense joy that comes from digging your own treasures. When you dig your own crystals, a special bond is formed between you and the stone that was inside the earth for millions of years. Many holistic collectors enjoy mining their own sacred stones. If you travel abroad, you will find crystals in every country that are unique to that land. Thousands of different shapes and colors are available. some places you can get crystals near you. What is a crystal? Any substance that has a regular arrangement of atoms is a crystal. Gemstones and rocks in the earth are crystals or microcrystals. There are also many kinds of man-made crystals. The most common manufactured crystal is called leaded glass. It is a type of prismatic glass with great optical purity. Worldwide sales of these man-made crystals exceed one billion pieces per year. In this program, the word crystal always refers to a member of the quartz crystal family, unless stated otherwise. This crystal family includes amethyst, citrine, 
clear and smoky quartz, and rose quartz. Like many precious stones, quartz comes in a wide variety of colors, caused by tiny amounts of metals trapped in the crystal structure. Sometimes the color is transparent and goes clear through the stone. Amethysts are purple or lavender quartzes. Clear crystal is called ice clear, or even water clear, the finest grade. Black, tan, and gray quartz are called smoky crystals. Yellow or orange quartz is called citrine. Ametrine is a quartz crystal that shows both purple and yellow gold colors in alternating bands or zones. Other crystals more rare in nature may be red, green, blue, or some combination of colors. Much of our technology utilizes quartz crystals. Quartz crystal chips time all the super fast operations of computers. The crystals receive, transmit, tune, and change energy. Quartz crystal fibers can also carry light energy in advanced communication systems. Without quartz, there might be no TV, no radio, no computers, no World Wide Web. Today, over 15 billion silicon and silica crystal chips are in use worldwide in electronic circuits. Quartz can also affect and change electrical energies in your own body. A crystal can resonate and oscillate with biological electricity. You can experience a crystal as a powerful energy tool without the use of any additional devices or electronics. Even tiny quartz crystal particles in the body pull in the life energy that the Chinese call qi, or vitality. Many biological compounds in human bodies form crystalline structures. For instance, the purified DNA of your genetic material is a crystal. It has a very regular overall structure. The double helix of DNA is well known and documented. DNA and quartz are two of the few compounds on Earth that have spiraling atomic structures. These spirals act like radio antennas to allow all kinds of communications at a distance. We can communicate with crystals on many levels through spinning energy. Crystals resonate to all the rhythms of electrical waves, radio waves, light waves, cosmic waves, and celestial vibrations. Native Americans have used rock crystals for ceremonial and healing purposes for over 10,000 years. The people of Australia still use crystals in their visionary ceremonies as they have done for over 40,000 years. Since ancient times, people have created increasingly accurate ways to cut, shape, and polish stones. A century ago, gem cutters on the German Rhine River carved and faceted quartz crystals into the original rhinestones. These old rhinestones, made of quartz, are now quite valuable. Newly carved crystals can now be cut into astounding shapes. Thousands of faceted crystals even orbit the Earth as parts of satellites. Steel saw blades and polishing tools can be embedded with tiny diamond chips to cut quartz and gemstones. 
Polishing compounds of diamond and other hard minerals give the final product a glossy, clear finish. Some natural crystals will have one or more facets polished to highlight the beauty of the interior. If the original surface was rough or cloudy, polishing leaves a window that is as clear as glass. Here are some of the different types of quartz crystals you might find at a mine, museum, or store. Single points are the individual crystals that have separated from larger groups. These points are called candles if they are long and slender, or needles if they are very thin. Some single points make great touchstones known as handholders if they are comfortable to grasp. Larger points become altar pieces or museum displays. Each one is beautifully faceted, no matter how large or small, thick or thin. A single point may have unusual colors, patterns or inclusions that distinguish it from every other crystal. No two crystals are identical. Each one is a unique entity and resonates most to specific people. In a single point, you can see the typical structure of a quartz crystal. There are six sides called prism faces, which create rainbows through a clear crystal. There are six facets at the top, coming to a sharp point. Most of the energy in the crystal comes out of the tip and edges. Healing energies flow off the point of the crystal. The energy may seem to spin one way or another, which reflects the flow of electrons at the atomic level. These left and right flows are sometimes called male and female, or grandmother and grandfather energy patterns. A single point might originally be separate from the groups around it if it is growing while floating in the hot crystal soup. These floater crystals have points on both ends. They are called double enders or doubly terminated crystals. Occasionally, a double-ended crystal will have two large points and virtually no sides. This indicates growth at a different set of pressures and temperatures. The most common source is the Herkimer Quartz Mining Area of upstate New York. These crystals are so clear that they are often mistaken for diamonds. Some double-enders grow to massive sizes. This rare formation is a 50-pound grouping of perfectly pointed crystals growing in the shape of a cross. It was discovered in Jesseville, Arkansas, and is believed to be nearly 200 million years old. So many unique shapes occur in our world made of crystals. You may find crystals that look like religious symbols, tools, letters of the alphabet, numbers, or buildings. Natural rainbows inside crystals can create a stained glass window effect. These ancient rainbow crystals are known for their startling beauty and pure colors. Later on, you'll learn how to use these ancient rainbow rocks as dream crystals. Quartz crystals contain spectacular, vivid colors. Tiny gaps in the atomic structure create optical effects that look like ever-changing liquid rainbows petrified into stone. The colors vary depending on the size of the gap and your angle of view. 
To see these rainbows, take the crystal into direct sunlight. Hold the crystal in front of you with the sun behind you. Slowly rotate the crystal to find the color flashes. At some angles, the colors will disappear, leaving a shimmering silver mirror. You can also find different kinds of rainbows where two crystals meet at a junction. Certain crystals have extra facets at the tip, making them 7-sided or as much as 14-sided. These diamond facet crystals are quite rare. Sometimes crystals are found that were broken in ancient earthquakes. The crystals continued growing from the shattered surfaces into strange multi-pointed shapes. These are called rehealed crystals or self-healed crystals. Flat crystals are called tabbies from the root word tabular. Some tabby crystals are paper thin and must be handled with great care. Other tabbies may be one or two feet wide, big enough to form a table or an altar. The tabular crystals sometimes form into delicate curved groups and rows. One crystal will sometimes grow on another crystal on top of the tip. These quartzes may look like small mushrooms. They are called scepter crystals. Did ancient royalty base their scepters on natural crystal shapes? Perhaps they too used these unique stones as sources of power. Clusters, or groups, are the type of quartz found most often. Clusters may be an inch across or weigh many tons. The multitude of angles and facets creates a wonderful glittering effect in sunlight. Small crystals sometimes coat larger ones. The tiny crystals are called drusy quartz and may have different colors from the larger stones. Sometimes the drusy quartz looks like sleet or snow on the larger crystal. These clusters sparkle in any kind of light. Geodes, which are like little caves, are a typical shape for amethyst and agates. Thousands of large geodes are found in Brazil every year. The biggest ones are up to 30 feet long with fascinating crystals inside. More typically, a geode may weigh up to 60 pounds. Burrs are groups of crystals that form hills inside geodes. From every side, you can see crystals projecting outwards. Sometimes the burr is spread out and looks like a crystal flower. Quartz also forms towering columns of crystals. Often, amethyst crystals coat calcite stalactites in Uruguayan geodes. The mines of India, Mexico, and Morocco also produce crystal stalactites in a variety of colors.
the most complex crystal shapes are called parallel growths. Unlike single points, the parallel crystals have multiple patterns of energy flowing through each crystal. The electrons may spin in a double clockwise direction, a double counterclockwise direction, or in both directions at once. These high energy flows make the crystals grow and look different. Quartz rarities can take many forms, like a crystal within a crystal, a Japanese twin, two crystals near right angles to each other, or a multiple parallel group. The parallel growth crystals reflect a unique architecture and geometry. There's a place you can go where time stands still and the answers are found within. In the crystal castle, you can find a home where the mystery never ends. Groups of parallel crystals look like tiny cities or castles. A twin crystal may look like a church, a cathedral, a lighthouse, or a temple. As you look around, you will see crystal shapes in all the buildings you work or live in. These buildings are based on crystal geometry and are reflections of the gemstones of the earth. Ancient cathedrals were built from crystal patterns and then decorated by stained glass. Going inside a cathedral is like walking into a huge crystal. The shapes and colors create the feeling of a sacred space. Sacred crystal spheres have been used for millennia as lenses for the soul. Polished crystal balls and crystal eggs are sometimes formed by river action on chunks of quartz. Thousands of years ago, crystal crafters used mineral powders to put a high polish on the natural sphere and egg shapes. These early lenses later formed the basis for eyeglasses. The crystal ball seems to stimulate mental powers in the person holding it or looking at it. Today, crystal balls are perfectly cut and polished out of quartz and hundreds of other precious stones. Some of the most beautiful crystals have layers or gardens of colored minerals floating inside. These colorful particles drifted around during crystal formation. Parts of the baby crystals became coated with colors which were trapped when more clear crystal grew around the layers. In essence, the crystal contains a picture of itself as a youngster. Stones with these patterns are called included crystals. 
chevrons, rafters, pyramids, ghosts, veils, and gardens are all types of colorful inclusions. Collectors find thousands of shapes and colors inside of quartz crystals. The most usual form has 1 to 12 sides of the inner crystal covered with colors. This is called a phantom crystal. Sometimes many stacked layers are visible. The last layer may coat the outside of the crystal, creating a rough or bumpy surface. Brazilian crystal miners use mechanical polishing to show off the glorious interiors. Clear quartz shapes can surround long crystalline needles of multicolored tourmaline or titanium oxides. Tourmaline crystals inside quartz are often dark and dense. Sometimes they are red, pink, blue, green, or other colors. This type of formation is called tourmalinated quartz. Titanium oxide inside quartz may have colors ranging from gold to silver, copper to bronze, red to orange to yellow. When the angle of the lighting changes, the colors may shift. These titanium oxide crystals are called rutile crystals. Rutilated crystals are energetic treasures found by lucky collectors and miners. Many kinds of minerals are found in quartz. Even pure gold crystals can be preserved forever inside pure quartz. Some crystals contain etched or colored patterns that look like fingerprints. These delicate inclusions may remind you of electronic circuitry. Each crystal's fingerprint pattern and color is unique. When complex patterns occur on the surface of crystals, they are called elestial or jacare quartz. Elestial crystals often have a smoky color along with fascinating swirls and angles on their sides. The patterns may look like hieroglyphic writing or foreign landscapes. Sometimes the stones seem to show cities animals or artwork on them. While some crystals are quite clear, most have a white, milky, or misty appearance. The mist comes from trapped water and gases held in the crystal from the time of formation. 
The water in the crystal dissolves unbalanced energy around it. You can hold a clear crystal in one hand and a milky crystal in the other hand to create a balanced energy environment for your body and spirit. There are many ways you can select crystals. One great way is by visual appeal, which is very important. You can also pick a stone by sensing its energy field while you hold it. Crystals generate many kinds of subtle feelings and strong impressions through your hand. People report feeling sensations of unusual heat and cold, magnetic pulls, waves of energy, and tingling. Often it takes from a few seconds to several minutes to start sensing these amazing crystal effects. Sometimes the energy flows all the way up your arm or through your body. Use the palm of your hand or your fingertips to sense energy. Try each one. Hold a crystal during your daily rest breaks. It will revitalize you. Experiment with different crystals, stones, or gemstones. Energy may come out from the point, sides, edges, or base of a touchstone. Give yourself permission to discover the world of direct energy perception. You can also feel a crystal's energy at a distance. As you get close to the crystal's electrical field, you may have an eye-opening experience. There are ways to increase your sensitivity to crystal energy. Here is an easy technique to try. Begin by rubbing your empty hands together quickly. This will warm up your hands and increase the flow of electricity in the nerves. Now place a few crystals or gemstones on a table. Hold a crystal in one hand while you circle the palm of your empty hand over one stone at a time. Keep your palm about one or two inches above the rocks. Sense the crystal you are holding. Then feel which stone on the table has the strongest sensations coming from it. As you get better at this, you will sense different energies coming from different stones. crystal finds itself in an entirely different energy environment after it comes out of the ground. The stone has already soaked up energy from the earth, air, fire, and water that surrounded it for millions of years. When the crystal is above ground, it attunes to the energy from the sun and moon and from people nearby. This ability to attune to surrounding energy makes quartz crystals very special indeed. They naturally tune into the waveforms within your body and then provide you with extra energy. You may occasionally want to clear energy out of your crystal. The crystal may appear murky or feel out of balance. There are many ways to rebalance your crystal's energy. You can use the power of the natural elements in different ways. Set your crystal out in the sun for a few days or in moonlight. Cleanse the crystal with clean water at the beach or in a stream or waterfall.
Place the crystal under sand, dirt, or rock salt for a few days or a week. Wedge a crystal up in a tree or on the roof. The wind will keep it clean. When the crystal comes out of the cleansing element, it will feel cleaner and look brighter to you. Crystals can also have their energy cleared by using an ancient technique called smudging. Move the crystals through fragrant smoke from burning sage, sweetgrass, lemongrass, cedar, or incense. The electrical charge on the smoke particles pulls excess energy out of the crystal in a minute or two. Smudging a room full of crystals takes just a few minutes. It leaves the room and crystals feeling clean and smelling great. Use your imagination, spirit, and heart to help balance the energy in your crystals. Fill your crystals with inner light as they help fill you with energy everlasting. Do crystals work? Quartz crystals are natural energy receivers. Every crystal vibrates to the energy waves around it. When the crystal absorbs these energies, its molecules move in patterns called oscillations. These microscopic swings are extremely fast, up to millions of times per second. The oscillations can build up rapidly into huge waveforms with startling results. When you hold a crystal for a while, you will feel subtle tingling sensations grow into waves of energy sweeping through your body. Try it. It's like having a personal power source. Quartz crystals used for healing work can be large or small. Remember, crystal chips in electronic circuits are very small, yet powerful. You can use the healing waves of crystallized energy for many purposes. Your mind can direct this electricity to parts of your body that need it. The nerves, organs, muscles, glands, even the brain. You can direct the energy to other people to help with their healing process. Or send energy to our entire planet while you visualize peace on Earth. Because of its unique atomic structure, quartz is an especially good energy crystal. The helix structure of the atoms flexes like a spring and can hold or release energy. The atomic structure of the crystal changes as you put energy into it. You will notice that these crystals warm up really fast when you hold them. They come up to body temperature or feel even hotter. This rapid heat transfer shows how sensitive and responsive the crystal is to energy exchange. When you hold a crystal, it starts an enhanced energy flow across your entire body. This can calm down and energize you. Just holding a crystal helps you go into a relaxed state. You don't have to do anything except be near the crystals. To feel the healing power of crystals, try some simple experiments. First, use the smooth side of a crystal to stroke the skin near a painful area. The electrical field of the crystal 
may block pain sensations in the nerves. Next, try this variation on Chinese acupressure techniques. Place the tip of a crystal against the skin near a sore spot, then gently rotate the crystal back and forth. Imagine waves of inner light flowing into your body. Create a feeling of healing within your spirit. To relieve aches, use a large milky crystal that was chilled in the refrigerator. Apply the crystal instead of an ice pack. It stays cool for a long time. You can use a round crystal or stone as a massage tool for sore muscles. Warm it up in water first and enjoy the wonderful feeling. Here is an easy exercise for dreaming about crystals. Hold a crystal for a few minutes before you go to sleep. Look at it carefully before you turn out the light. Memorize the crystal's shape, its patterns, its rainbows. Place the crystal above, beside, or under your bed. You can hold it in your hand while you sleep if you like. Tell yourself you will dream about beautiful crystals and rainbows tonight. When you dream about crystals, use the memory of the crystal to bring back the memory and the meaning of the dream. In the morning, write down your dream or draw a picture of your dream crystal as soon as you can. Perhaps you can attract a similar crystal into your life.